So this is definitely one of the crazier things I've ever covered here in a video before. I mean, it's not every day a kid steals his mom's credit card and drops $20,000 like it's nothing. You know, it's not like this kid took his mom's credit card and, and bought 500 V-Bucks. He didn't buy like a Little Caesars pizza without his mom's permission. No, this kid donated over $20,000 to Twitch streamers in a matter of two weeks. I mean, this is just abysmal, really. And as we dive into the entire situation, you're gonna see the mother here actually reveals how she punished her son after he spent $20,000 without her knowledge. And I think it definitely connects all the dots here to say the least. I mean, this kid practically got a slap on the wrist after stealing his mother's credit card and spending $20,000. It's a crazy situation. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this article here. So the article starts off here by saying you can choose to donate an unlimited amount of cash as a one-off gift to a streamer, and it appears that this teenage fan was doing just that, reaching over $20,000 in just over two weeks. Which, it's mind-blowing that that's even possible. I don't know how you end up donating over $20,000 in just a two-week period. And you're telling me at no point did this kid realize that he was going just a little overboard with the donations? Anyway, it continues here by saying, according to their parent who posted a worried plea on the official Twitch subreddit, their minor child spent almost $20,000 using a debit card on subscriptions and donations. Cleaning out my bank accounts without my knowledge or permission. Years of savings gone in 17 days. Okay, now at some point here, the parents have to take at least some of the blame. I mean, you're telling me not once during this 17 day period, over half a month, did these parents ever check their bank balance? I mean, slowly over a 17 day period, $20,000 was spin out of their bank account and they just had their back turned the whole time. They they never caught wind of it. Now here was the post made on Reddit by the mother after this whole situation went down and the post says my minor child spent almost $20,000 using a debit card on subscriptions and donations cleaning out my bank accounts without my knowledge or permission. Years of savings gone in 17 days. No response from customer service in over two weeks. No response to certified mail to CEO or or Amazon legal, does anyone know if I can get this money back or how to get a response? Now here's where the bad news comes in for these parents here, because this has unknowingly liberated from their savings, the parents explained that they had received no response from either customer service nor Amazon's legal team or CEO Emmett Shear. Depending on how the money was spent, some of it may not even be reclaimable through Twitch. Many streamers use third parties like Streamlabs to process one-off donations, only channel subscriptions or bits are handled by Twitch directly. So I mean, depending on how exactly the kids spent the money, they might not be able to get most of it back. But like I said, you do kind of have to put the blame on the parents at the end of the day that they even let this happen. And one of the main reasons I think the blame here should be put on the parents is because of how they handled the situation. Because the mother actually followed up on the Reddit post here by telling everybody how she punished her son. And I mean, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. So to break this down, her son stole her credit card, donated $20,000 to Twitch streamers. There's a good chance she won't even be able to get most of the money back. There's a pretty good gray area around that right now. And this is how the kid is currently being punished. First off, they've talked to him. Okay, he spent $20,000 and they're talking to him. Apparently, he's getting counseling for it. He's grounded from his computer. He spent $20,000 and he's grounded from his computer. They took his debit card and froze his account. I mean, can you imagine if your kid took your credit card, spent $20,000, and all you did was ground them and take away their debit card? Like I said earlier, I think that pretty much connects all the dots to how this even happened in the first place. Because, I mean, there's no reason your kid should be getting a slap on the wrist after donating $20,000 to Twitch streamers. So with all that being said, that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.